Indra Jatra is exciting and memorable, particularly if you're in Kathmandu for this celebration. The royal Kumari comes out, and if you're in the crowd, you won't be able to move until the crowd moves. That's how tight it is. If you like crazy, loud, crowded celebrations, you will love it. But if you like a bit more of a sacred, calmer celebration, you can do like we did. We went to Bhaktapur. Indra, God of Heaven, is responsible for rain, so it's only fitting that he be shown appreciation for such a lovely monsoon. Unfortunately, due to man's misuse of our planet, the monsoon that blessed our Kathmandu Valley also caused some serious flooding for the unfortunate Nepali and Indians in the lower elevations. As we enjoyed the ancient city during the day, there were several small groups playing music and chanting. It was quite lovely. At around sunset, we walked up to the second story restaurant, The Trist, just across from Sidi Pokhari for dinner. As we waited for dinner, there seemed to be an unending procession of people coming down the street, going into the huge brick-lined pond to walk around it. Devotees brought clay cups, a wick, and oil. These burned for quite a while before burning out. Then the god came in a chariot with the crowd playing music and bringing gifts.
I highly suggest taking a room in Bhaktapur for the night if possible or even plan a four night stay to take in all of the festival. It does actually go for about four or five nights. Although you can find a guest house on booking.com or Airbnb, you really do not need to book ahead. Just don't let them see your luggage when you inquire about a room. Pick a couple of guest houses online and see what you like when you get to Bhaktapur. We got a better deal on a bit better guest house than we did during Gaijatra. Although still Nepali managed, it was really the cleanest guest house, guest house I've seen in Nepal. This $25 room had a sitting area and even a TV. There was a place on the rooftop for dining. These things were provided. A bottle of drinking water, of course, hot water for taking a shower, that's not always a given in Nepal, a towel and soap, oh, and toilet paper. Uh, the information for the guest house is in the description. Yes, since Nepali guest houses do not usually give you a top sheet, we do, but usually they don't, um, get a um, sleeping bag liner and bring it. You'll be glad you did. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And... Uh, Give us a like and subscribe. See you next time.